Web at buffalobulls.com. Our officials tonight, Kevin Ferguson, Willie Pulliam, and Jeff Janicek. Bulls in their home whites with the blue numerals and trimming. St. Peter's in their dark blue road uniforms as these teams prepare to start the season. A busy night around college hoops. It's not a deck of an aircraft carrier, but Alumni Arena will have to do tonight as the Bulls and Peacock get ready to go. <laughs> yeah, not quite as glamorous as the aircraft carrier, but I'll tell you one thing, it's gonna stay dry in here. That's right. And it may not on that carrier. Bulls will be moving it from left to right in the first half. Mitchell Wad, who won the opening tip-off virtually every single game last year as a junior at 6'10", will be jumping center against 6'9", senior Jack Hill for St. Peter's. Willie Pulliam into the center circle now, and the 2011-2012 season underway as Mitchell Watt wins the tap to Gerard Oldham. Oldham at the point against the St. Peter's man-to-man. -man. Barnett right corner, top of the key to Mitchell Watt, now left wing fills in. Zach dribbles around a Watt screen, top of the key now to Javon McRae. Dribbles the right wing and hands off to Barnett, top of the key to Watt. Mitchell looks back door, nothing there. Foul line McRae, 17-footer, up no good. Rebound tapped around, goes off the rim, and is in recovered by Hill for St. Peter's. Don't know if Javon McRae tried a shot from that deep all last year. Yeah, he's been shooting those shots in practice, though, and the coaches want him to take those. Fulton has it for St. Peter's, now at the end of our right. Prescott, top of the key, left to Fulton, that freshman chased around by Oldham. Right wing it comes to Prescott. Cross court now Ferguson, takes it down to the baseline, runs into McRae, contact, no foul, the shot missed. Weak side rebound, fills in for UB. Here come the Bulls right to left, Barnett right wing. Crossover dribble to the foul line, bounces the Watt left, high post. Now Oldham on the left wing. Foul on McRae, dribbles to the right wing, looks back door. Barnett can't get open, they hand off to Barnett now on the left side. McRae foul line, feeds it to Oldham on the right wing. Foul line to Mitchell Watt, takes a pass, goes to Phils in left wing. Foul line to McRae, now right side Oldham, 12 to shoot. Gerard on the right short corner, covered up by Fulton. He's killed his dribble, hooks a bounce pass, down low McRae, takes it up with the left hand and scores, right under the basket. Every time you go inside the McRae and you give him that position on the block, it's gonna, it's gonna be a good uh, event for the Bulls. Go to nothing Buffalo, Javon McRae gets the scoring started. Right corner Prescott gets open, launches a three and hits it. First Prescott with a trifecta and St. Peter's ahead, three to two. Changing defenses, they started man to man, now they're in a three quarter court trap. Bulls beat it with a pass from Oldham to Barnett deep on the left wing. Right wing fills and who eyes the basket. Instead, high post right to McRae. Left wing Barnett, low to Watt. Oldham with a touch pass. Uh, fills in on the right. Launches a three, partially blocked. It's an air ball, but Watt saves it to Barnett. Now fills in left wing. Left high post to McRae. Quick bounce pass to Watt. Under the basket for the one-handed dunk. How many times did we see that happen last year? The high-low pass from McRae to uh, Watt for the dunk underneath. Great execution. Left-handed flush from Mitchell Watt. Now the Bulls go to a 2-3 zone. Oldham tips a pass away from Fulton. Fulton will recover, shoots a three in left wing, and Watt blocks it for Buffalo. Here comes Buffalo in transition. Oldham gives it to Barnett, lifing in from the left, and he's fouled. Are they going to call this foul on the floor or in the layup attempt? And they will give Barnett two shots on the foul that goes against Jack Hill for St. Peter's. Great defense by the Bulls so far. They've given up that one trifecta, but they're not letting St. Peter's dribble penetrate, which is one of the keys to the game tonight for them to be successful. Barnett's first free throw around and in. Gave a 53% free throw shooter last year, so he's looking to improve his senior year in that department. Isn't that unusual? You, know, you think that he's such a good outside shooter to shoot only 53%, but it's something that he's worked on in the offseason and I think we're going to see some marked improvement. Second free throw, hard off the back rim, no, and a high rebound pulled down by Kyrie Ferguson for St. Peter's. Two and a half minutes into the game, it's 5-3 Buffalo. Now the Bulls have gone back to a man-to-man -man defense. Bills in guarding Brandon Hallway out top to Prescott left wing, guarded by Barnett. McRae out in the heads and now double teaming Prescott out near midcourt. He's having trouble. Steps between defenders, finds Hill. Touch pass to Ferguson at the high post. He turns it down to the senior Hall in the right wing. Shot clock down to 10. Left wing Fulton, cross court pass left to right to Ferguson. Ferguson drives into the paint, puts up a leaner off the backboard. No good. And an offensive foul on Ferguson as Watt was there to pick up the charge. Well, we're watching two great defensive efforts by both teams. The Bulls recognize the dribble penetration and set up 
from the weak side to draw the charge, and they draw it. And of course, we have the new rule this year. There's an arc underneath the basket in uh, Division One basketball, and if you are outside the arc and they, there's contact, you're going to get the call for the charge. Ferguson pulled out of the game now by John Dunn. Chris Burke is in. Filson tries a deep left wing three, no good. Barnett high for the offensive rebound, but it's stripped away and stolen by St. Peter's. Prescott down the lane, squeezes between defenders, missed the layup try, and Barnett is able to slap in the tip rebound for Buffalo. Bulls up by two, 16 and a half minutes to play in the first half. Olden top of the circle, skids to a stop. Bounce pass to Watt, left of the mid post. Mitchell now backing down to the baseline, tries a deep hook off the backboard and in. Oh, that shot. 7-3 Buffalo, Watt has four early points. I'll tell you that, we've never seen that shot before. The hook. A new trick for Mitchell yeah. Watt. Bulls back into a 2-3 zone. Oldham blanketing Prescott on the near side and Gerard got too physical and gets called for Buffalo's first foul of the season. Well, and not a smart play by Oldham. You know that he can't get in foul trouble. They need him on the floor. So, and that was unnecessary playing zone defense to foul somebody. 6'11 freshman Gaetano Spira has now come in for St. Peter's. He is from Italy. Said when he showed up yesterday for shoot around, said I'd never been in a building this big for basketball, <laughs> alumni arena. Well, he's going to see both ends of the spectrum playing in the mid of the uh, Metro Atlantic Conference. Bulls hoops brought to you by the Marines. Few can be Marines, even fewer can lead them. Visit MarineOfficer.com. 60 minutes left in the first half. St. Peter's with the ball down four. Fulton left wing against that zone. They swing it around to the right side for Hall. Now straight away for Prescott. Launches a deep three-pointer and hits it. Prescott, two threes. Transfer from St. Joe's. That was a long one, too, for Prescott. Cutting the Bulls' lead down to 7-6. Half-court trap mound for St. Pete. Oldham's out near midcourt. Finds Phil's in right wing. He's stripped and has it stolen by Fulton, but then Fulton loses it over the right sideline, and it will go to Buffalo. So the Bulls will have it when we return after our first media timeout of the year. 15-36 to play in the first half. Buffalo 7, St. Peter's 6. You're listening to Buffalo Bulls basketball, brought to you by Subway on the UB Bulls basketball network. We doing okay, Mike? It's time Good, man. Joe, this thing is not... Uh, ...tonight from three-point range, but don't give up on him. Oldham inbounds to Watt right of the lane line. Back to Oldham at the right wing. Now McCray head of the key. Right it comes to Watt, right wing Oldham. One hands it McCray, top of the circle, crossover, goes down the center of the lane for a vicious left-handed oh. dunk. <laughs> nice. Gaetano Spira just got initiated to Division One basketball. Yeah, welcome to college basketball. The freshman Nine. from Italy. 9-6 Buffalo. Fulton left wing, trapped momentarily by Oldham and Watt. Back out of high hall. Now to Fulton, pump fakes a three, gets inside the arc, shoots an 18-footer, no good. Out long for the rebound. Watt, who's bumped into by Spira from behind, and Spira gets called for his first foul. Three fouls on St. Peter's, one of the Bulls so far. Nine six Coach Buffalo. John Dunn is imploring Spira to get in front of McRae. And that was a slick crossover dribble, by the yeah, way. He used to take it down the lane. That was a good move. Oldham between the circles against a zone. Now fills in deep on the left. High post Watt. Pump takes a shot, tries another deep lefty hook, and hits another one. 11-6 Buffalo. Second hook shot we've seen Mitchell convert. Big Mitch working on that baby hook. Third of summer. 2-3 Buffalo zone at the end of our left. The senior point guard Hall has it high right. Waves away Spear down into the paint. Now to Fulton deep on the left. To Burke left corner, back out to Fulton. Playing catch with Burke. Fulton swings around a hall right side. He quickly gets to the lane, hangs in the air, puts one up around McCray, no good. Rebound off the hands of Watt and Spirit gathers it up out front. Another chance for St. Peter's. And now a palming violation is called on Prescott, who was making a move to the basket, and right in front of Kevin Ferguson, he palmed the basketball. Pretty good move, though. He ended up scoring. So it gets wiped out on the turnover. 14-13 to play, first half. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit geico.com or call 1-800-947-AUTO. First sub of the season now for UB. Mitchell Watt comes out, replaced by fellow senior forward Titus Robinson. 
And uh, all Solid the, five minutes by Mitchell Watt, obviously. All the reports have been that Titus has been playing really, really well in practice. Bilzin tries a deep three left wing bullseye. How's that? Bilzin in the scoring column. <laughs> and you can't stop six. that. You know, he shot the ball from where you don't want to guard people. And, uh, and they were in a zone defense that time. So good recognition by Oldham at the point to get the Bulls into their zone offense. Eight point Buffalo lead. Left corner, Prescott. Now Hall, top of the circle, swings it over to Burke, right wing. They work it back around to Prescott, left side. Into the motion comes to Yvonne Raymond, takes to the basket, and Raymond, who just came in, scores a little finger roll to end a 7-0 Buffalo run. Here comes a three-quarter court, court press. UB 14, St. Peter's 8, fills in trap far side, gets rid of it to Robinson, now right wing to Dave Barnett. Between the circles, Oldham. Back to Barnett in the right wing. Dave dribbles top of the key, bounces to Oldham high on the left. Corner on the left side, fills in line drive three, no good. Fills in, or rather Barnett, taps a rebound out, and Oldham snares it for Buffalo. Now Barnett in the right corner as the Bulls reload. UB up by six, seven minutes gone, first half. Barnett open, right side for three, no good. Prescott, weak side rebound on the left side. Down the court, he comes from St. Peter's, three on three break, contact, puts up a tough floater, no good. Raymond the rebound on the left, lays it up and in. Yvonne Raymond with two straight buckets now for St. Peter's. Prescott got hammered on that drive to the basket, no whistle. He's looking for the foul call. The Bulls 14, the Peacocks 10. Barnett deep on the right, guarded tightly by Raymond. Robinson works it to fills an outside left. Hooks a pass in the Cray, top of the key. Oldham now right corner to Barnett. Back to Oldham deep on the right. Right of the line, it comes to Cray. Quick pass, low post, Robinson tries to muscle it up, has a shot blocked away, and then the ball rolls out of bounds. And it was kicked out of bounds by one of the Peacocks. So the Bulls will maintain possession over on the right side. Blaze French and Kyrie Fr uh, Ferguson come in now for St. Peter's. Oldham is leaving the game for UB, and Corey Rayleigh Ross is in. So now who's going to play point guard? Could yes, be Zach he is. Filson. Yes, he is. Uh, well, uh, Corey will play it if uh, if there's any pressure. Then Zach will bring it up if there's no pressure. So both of them are capable of doing it, but you lose their scoring and they bring the ball up and have to get the offense started. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Fills an inbounding left of the glass. Has to launch it out top to McCray and makes a jumping catch away from Raymond. Now fills and bounces to Rayleigh Ross, the sophomore near the left corner. High post McCray, the pass batted away and stolen by St. Peter's. Then Rayleigh Ross taps the pass away, but it's recovered by the Peacocks. Front court left. Under the basket, Raymond after a couple pump fakes, forces up and banks it in. That's three straight hoops now for Raymond, who averaged four points a game last year off the bench. Little 6 0 run, all from Yvonne Raymond for St. Peter's. And it's 14 12 Buffalo. Have a timeout coming up. Bills in deep straightaway three, no good. Barnett, though, there to tip it in. No box out. St. Peter's known for their solid defense, and part of that is boxing out. Had a breakdown that time, and it cost them. Three points for Dave Barnett. Bulls' lead is 16 to 12. Between the circles. Blaze French, his first, uh, his last name, brother, spelled with two F's, F-F-R-E-N-C-H. He drives down the lane, McCray stripped it away, and it's stolen by Buffalo. Fills in head up on the dribble, takes it into the front court right, guarded by French. Now to Robinson, high on the right, Titus a dribble to his right, hands off Rayleigh Ross. Foul line, McCray, lobs one toward the basket, short, no good. Barnett rebounds, puts it back up off the glass, around the rim and in. He drew the foul, and Dave is going to be heading to the free throw line when we come back. Steve Barnett, great second effort on the glass again. Pays off for the Bulls. Chance for an and one coming up for Dave Barnett. UB with 11.09 to go in the first half, leading St. Peter's 18 to 12. And you're listening to Buffalo Bulls basketball brought to you by Subway on the UB Bulls basketball network. That foul was on 12. Yeah. Prescott. That happened for you. Dave Barnett on uh, in the game so far tonight has three offensive rebounds. He's got five total points, has a chance at the foul line now to make it six and be the leading scorer in the game for the Bulls. Barnett trying for the and one. He was fouled on that put back by Chris Prescott right before the timeout. And that bounces in for Barnett, who's now two out of three from the free throw line. That's 19-12 UB. 
Rayleigh Ross fills in Robinson, Watt, and Barnett on the court right now for UB. High on the right, Yvonne Raymond. Now to Blaze French between the circles. Kind of a matchup zone look right now from Buffalo. Raymond driving into the basket and a blocking foul on UB. He was taking it aggressively to the hoop, and Jeff Janicek has called this foul on Mitchell Watt. It's the first and the senior from Goodyear, Arizona. And so Raymond, who has scored the last six points for St. Peter's, now visits the free throw line for two. He was a 54% foul shooter last year as a sophomore. Raymond out of Maplewood, New Jersey, 6'3", 180 pounds. Takes a big, deep breath, and his first free throw is no good. He averaged 16 minutes a game last year, so he was a, a, a meaningful contributor to their NCAA success. Had a good game against the Bulls as a freshman two years ago down at the Anatelli Center in Jersey City. One more now for Raymond. It's up and swish. So seven points for Raymond. Bulls 19 and St. Peter's 13. Watt deep in the backcourt, into the front court left now for Rayleigh Ross. Filzen is currently at the point for the Bulls with Oldham on the bench. 2-3 zone from St. Peter's. Barnett from the right wing to Robinson between the rings. Left wing to Filzen dragging that pivot foot, but he kept it down just enough. Entry pass from Rayleigh Ross. He runned Watt in the low post left, but it was deflected over the inline by senior Jack Hill. So far, the changing defenses of the Peacocks has not confused the Bulls. Bulls 8 for 15 from the floor. Filzen brings it into Barnett near the left corner. 13 to shoot. Robinson between the circles. Right wing now Filzen. High post Watt. He'll try the jump shot from there. No good. Missed it. Badly wide left. Barnett trying to hustle down the rebound. It's deflected over the sideline. And they say it went off Barnett. And the Bulls were convinced it was off Yvonne Raymond. Well, both referees on that side of the floor had it going to the uh, Peacock. So tough to argue with that. Four sets. Four eyes on that play. Yvonne Raymond was diving for it. Great, uh, great hustle from Raymond. Must have poked it off of Dave Barnett. Left corner, Prescott dribbles toward the basket. Stutter step dribble into the paint. Tries a floater over Watt who blocked it away. Follow from Raymond wouldn't go, but Kyrie Ferguson then slammed in the miss. And it's 19-15 UB. Quite a tip dunk from Ferguson. Barnett at midcourt, one hands it to Watt, still in the backcourt. No look pass now across the timeline to Filzen as the Bulls set up the half court offense with 9.50 to play in the opening 20 minutes. At the foul line, Robinson, he'll shoot from there off the back rim, no good. Rebound tapped up off the backboard, and then it comes out long to Filzen. Zach has it, the Bulls reload. Rayleigh Ross from the right corner drives toward the hoop, hands off Robinson. Titus missed the two handed dunk. It's spun off the rim to Kyrie Ferguson for St. Peter's. You've got to finish those plays. Seniors. Hold that rim down, but the ball would not go through the hoop. St. Peter's at the end to our left. Prescott, right wing, three-pointer up, no good. Ball bounces high up off the shot clock, and that will send it to the Bulls with 9.13 to play in the half. And Gerard Oldham now will give it Zach Bills in a breather. Oldham taking over at point for UB. Just in time, full court pressure by the Peacocks with Oldham back in the game. Oldham one-on-one -on -one against Blaze French. Bulls hoops brought to you by Karuba Collision. Make the right decision. Insist on Karuba Collision. That's now Yvonne Raymond steals it away from Rayleigh Ross on the right wing. And then Corey fouls Raymond trying to streak to the other end. Rayleigh Ross with a turnover and the foul his first. Yvonne Raymond noted as a good defender just swiped that one right away from Rayleigh Ross. So Yvonne Raymond's looked like a good player off yeah. the bench. Yeah, it looks like he's coming into his own as a junior here for the Peacocks. We've played 11 minutes in the first game of the season. Bulls have led almost the whole way. It's 19-15 at the moment. St. Peter's, though, has the ball. Prescott, right elbow of the lane, shoots a fadeaway jump shot, switch. Chris Somebody's got to get in his face because he has not missed too many shots. Eight points for Prescott, and it's a two-point game. And now Robinson makes a bad pass to the far side. Raymond nearly got another steal, but could not completely catch it. Instead, tapping the ball over the sideline at midcourt. That was almost another Bulls turnover. This is what they fear the most. Full court pressure, three-quarter court pressure against the inexperienced point guards. Little 5-0 run right now for St. Peter's. Robinson swings it right side to Oldham. Rod back cross court to Barnett left sideline. Playing catch with Oldham deep in the right. The sophomore goes right elbow to Watt. Mitchell takes it down the lane, and he's stripped going up, trying to 
put up a runner, was fouled by one of the Peacocks. And now Mitchell Watt will go to the free throw line with the foul against Chris Prescott, his second. And the Peacocks again trying to take advantage of the fact that Zach Filzen is out of the game right now for a breather, showing all zone defense on their end of the floor. First visit to the free throw line this season for Watt, who has six points early. And he rattles down the first foul shot to give him seven. Prescott out of the game. Lamin Fulton is back in. Kyrie Ferguson is lifted by John Dunn as well as he brings Jack Hill back into the game. Bulls up 2017, and it's still 2017 as a free throw miss. Robinson, though, with the offensive rebound, brings the basketball, though, down low, and Raymond ties him up. The arrow will give it to St. Peter's. So Robinson made a good offensive rebound, but Raymond was able to grab onto the basketball, forcing the alternating possession. St. Peter's with the ball, trailing by three with 8.20 to play before halftime. Buffalo in a man-to-man -man this trip defensively. Blaze French from Queens calling out the offensive set for the Peacocks. Bounces the freshman's Fulton high left. Barnett's on him. Fulton now backing away. Watt guards Fulton near midcourt in a switch. Now head of the key, Burke. Fulton works one down low to Hill. Jump shot from in the middle of the lane, no good. Rebound Oldham. The point guard got in there for the Buffalo defensive board. Barnett right wing, top of the key to Watt. Mitchell pump fakes a three, try to pass the left baseline that's tapped, but recovered by Rayleigh Ross. Oldham between the circles, right side to Barnett beyond three. Dave gets open on the right wing for three. Too strong, and the rebound to Burke, who is blocking Barnett out. Three-pointer would tie it for St. Peter's. Got a timeout coming up in the next dead ball. French controlling the point. Top of the key, Hill. Right side now to Burke. Burke bounces it over to French, left wing, drive by Oldham, puts up a floater, no good, an air ball. Barnett grabbed it under the basket for the Bulls. Oldham up the left sideline into the front court right for Buffalo. Between the circles, Robinson, right side to Rayleigh Ross. Corey drives the baseline, whips one to one at the free throw line, jumper on the way, no good. Rebound comes out long, Rayleigh Ross has it at the foul line. He pulls up on the right baseline, and he can't get the 15-footer to go. Robinson trying to follow, got fouled. But Titus Robinson with a terrific offensive board. And now he will go to the free throw line after this timeout. Timeout coming with 6.55 to play in the half. Buffalo 20 and St. Peter's 17. You're listening to Buffalo Bulls basketball presented by Subway on the UB Basketball Network. Hey, here's my prediction. Huh? Here's my prediction. Somebody's going to get hurt with those chairs over there. Yeah. And we're seeing a heck of a game. Uh, the Bulls just went through a little stretch, Josh, where they were not making shots and they were not getting offensive rebounds. But uh, Titus put that to an end with a uh, tough offensive rebound to earn a trip to the foul line for two shots. Sixteen foul on St. Peter's, one more, and the Bulls are in the one one First free throw for Titus in and out. Robinson shot 67% from the foul line last year. The foul, by the way, was on Yvonne Raymond. Bulls have missed their last six shots from the field. And now Robinson with a second free throw attempt, and that is good. First point of his senior season for Titus Robinson, putting UB up 21-17. Two three zone by the Bulls. We see more zone tonight than we did all last year, the whole season. Right corner, Burke open for the baseline jumper. Too strong, Raymond, the weak side rebound for the Peacocks, and they reset. Hall, the senior, has it out high against that zone. Bills in comes out to greet him right side now Fulton the freshman tries a three no good Robinson had the rebound taken away by Raymond they got Raymond over the back so that's two fouls in a row on Yvonne Raymond 17 fouls so the Bulls are now in the one and one they're in the one and one they gotta let them know they're in the one and one aren't they in the one and one they should be well they inbounded the ball before the Bulls could shoot free throws Oh, that, yeah, that was, was a real mess up. The Bulls seven. should have been shooting free throws right there. Bills in left wing, knife into the basket, scoops up with the left hand, no good. Raymond, the rebound, now trying to save it, and he stepped on the baseline, so the Bulls will keep it. Yeah. Now Oldham is going to inbound it right of the glass hey, for Buffalo. Oldham with 18 to shoot. Buzzes it into the paint. McCray scoops it up left hand. No good. Devon gets his miss back and puts it up and in with a left hand. 
six points for Javon McCray, the reigning MAC freshman of the year. 23-17 Buffalo. Wait, unless we missed something, Pete, the Bulls should have been shooting They've got free seven on the board, and that's what we go by. Burke right baseline jumper, no good from 16 feet. The ball's loose in the right corner. The guy's diving on it, and it goes off the hand of Burke and out of bounds on the far side. UV Bulls basketball. 23-17 Buffalo. 5.50 to play in this first what half. What did they say, offensive? What did they say, offensive rebound? Trying to get an explanation from Jim Quichoff as yeah. to why the Bulls didn't shoot a one-on-one -on -one free throw. McCray at the foul line, whips one off the hands of Robinson in the low post. It is saved by one of the Peacocks, but recovered by McCray. Quickly back to Titus for the layup. What a look by Javon McCray. And now a timeout called by John Dunn and St. Peter's coming with five and a half minutes to go in this first half. Bulls all of a sudden are up 25-17, and again, the high-low action from Javon McRae to Titus Robinson. Excellent passing, and of course, uh, the last couple possessions, they've gotten a couple offensive rebounds to keep their hopes alive on the offensive recruit, rated recruit that's been brought in since uh, Bulls joined the MAC. so. Ferguson, low on the right, working on Ford. Turnaround jump shot, no good. Rebound, pinballs out to Filson for the Bulls, and then the freshman, Fulton, fouled him. First foul on Fulton. And now a one and one for the Bulls' best free throw shooter, Zach Filson. Zach with three well, points coming in a trifecta early in the game. And of course, the scoreboard in our box score has the Peacocks with eight fouls. So the last foul, we still haven't got an explanation. Yeah, they messed yeah. up. The, the yeah. officials apparently okay. admitted to the Bulls yeah. they messed up. Well, the radio guys have to keep track of everything these days. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Bills, his first free throw is good. <laughs> his fourth point of the game. Zach, a terrific free throw shooter. I think one of the things he'd like to do this year is get to the line a little bit more to take advantage of that. Yes, and uh, and he should, if, his, if he plays the point and starts dribble penetrating to dish off, he'll draw some fouls that way too. But his main role is still as a shooter. It's such a great, it's such a great stroke. You don't want to take that away from him either. Now he drained both of them perfectly. UB's up by 10, their biggest lead of the game, 27-17. On the left, Ferguson, straight away, Fulton. Now it high for Prescott. Fulton has it high left. Hall with the ball on the left wing. They reverse it around to Prescott on the right side. Right baseline it comes. Now to Ferguson, guarded tightly by Barnett. He drives on the baseline against him, and a blocking foul called on either McCray or Ford, who are trying to sandwich him near the basket. Looks like they buzz the whistle on Javon McCray. That would be number one on Big Javon. Well, he rotated over to try and block the shot instead of trying to get in position to take the charge because he certainly telegraphed that drive. He put his head down from the corner, and you know he was going to go all the way to the basket. Bulls 15 foul. Ferguson's free throw off the back rim, no good. 4.55 to play before the half. 27-17 Buffalo in the season opener. The Bulls trying to win their season opener for the sixth time in the last seven years. Now the second foul shot from Ferguson. No good off the back rim. Ford tips a rebound out to Filson. Filson with a few rebounds in this first half. Ahead to Barnett on the left sideline. Dave with one hound bounce pass to Ford, top of the key. Maybe got away the travel, finds McCray in the lane. A spin move by Javon, who's cut off. Back to Ford, tries to power it up right side. No good, but a foul. And Xavier Ford is going to be headed to the free throw line after he got hacked by Jack Hill. Good move, you know. Uh, he went to the basket strong, drew the foul. He also was open to catch and shoot, you know, and those are the things you learn with experience when you have a shot and when you should take the shot. So two free throws for Xavier Ford, trying to score his first collegiate points, and he bounced that one off the back rim, no good. Xavier last year in Colorado Springs averaged 27 points and 10 rebounds a game. Those are pretty good numbers. Pretty good. No matter what kind of league you play in. It must have been a pretty good one if he made the, got the recognition on Parade All-American team. Second free throw short, rebound to Hall, the point guard for St. Peter's. He streaks down the floor. Jack Hill, by the way, pulled out by head coach John Dunn. The 6'10 freshman, Gaetano Spira, is back in for St. Peter's. Hall still dribbling out deep, guarded by Oldham in a Bulls man-to-man. -man. Hall now dribbling around the perimeter. Ford out in the head, Hall drives by, turns the corner all the way to the bucket, oh, and he scores of, a layup. Got out of the double team, penetrated all the way to the basket. 
Good move by Hall. He recognized the Bulls were in man-to-man -man that time. Right baseline, McCray with the Bulls up eight. Finds Oldham headed to key for three short. And the rebound to Fulton for St. Peter's. 27-19 Buffalo. Under four minutes now before the break. Ball picked up by Oldham near midcourt. Right side, Prescott. Whips it to Fulton, center of the court. Bounce pass now to Hall on the left wing. Dribbles around a screen from Spira. McCray greets him on a hedge. Left wing, Ferguson under the basket. Spira, his shot's blocked by Barnett. Swatted out of bounds into the left corner. Dave Barnett giving up about six inches to Spira. But Dave, with that 40-inch vertical, got up and blocked the shot out of bounds. <laughs> Final media timeout of the first half with 3.38 to play. 27-19 Buffalo over St. Peter's, and we'll return to Alumni Arena in a moment. You're listening to Buffalo Bulls basketball, brought to you by Subway and the UB Bulls basketball network. The partners program providing UB Bulls basketball tickets to charitable organizations across western New York. 3.38 to play in the first half, 27-19 Buffalo. St. Peter's inbounding in front of the Buffalo bench. Flipped it in towards Spears, stolen by McCray. Ball's with it from left to right. Fills him from the left wing, takes it toward the hoop, runs into a man, no foul. Banks went up off the backboard, no good. Rebound squirts off the hand of Ferguson, goes out of bounds to Buffalo. You be with it with 3.28 to play in the opening half. They lead by eight. Oldham will inbound it along the right baseline. Whips it to Barnett, left baseline, and he, well, he shuffled the feet and he traveled. Well, the Bulls turn it over for the fifth time in the first half. Big key for the Bulls, Pete, has been not bad. how badly the Bulls have out-rebounded St. Peter's. Yeah, well, there's a lot of missed shots. St. Peter's is shooting 33%, the Bulls 38. A lot of rebounds to be had, and the Bulls are dominating the boards, 22 to 14. Spear between the circles, right wing Ferguson guarded by McCray. Now to Prescott near midcourt. Left wing, it comes to French. French dribbling around the perimeter toward the right. Tried to turn the corner to Xavier Ford. Then gets it to the right baseline for Prescott. Fadeaway shot from 10, no good. Ball tapped off the backboard by Ferguson, won't go. He recovers, missed another shot, and then Filzen comes out of there with it for Buffalo. Ahead to Oldham. Lobs it for Ford. The catch, and he converts on the alley-oop. Oh, banking it in. play. And he another rescued that out. pass. Yeah, he rescued that pass and finished the play all in one motion. Great athletic move by the rookie from Colorado. Second timeout used in this half by John Dunn. Another subway timeout to make it 29-19 Buffalo. And you have 250 to play in the half. You're right, that pass from Oldham was not a perfect one. No, that uh, Mitchell Watt was coming in for Ford, but uh, they didn't allow the uh, substitution. He didn't get in before the second horn, so. St. Peter's with the ball down 10. Left wing Prescott, tightly guarded by Barnett, the UB man to man. Now McCray out to double team. Prescott between the circles, guns one into the paint, Ferguson. Out to Hall on the right sideline. Oldham harasses him. Ball dribbling in the right hash mark, still tightly checked by Oldham. 12 to shoot. Hall now top of the key. Burst into the lane. Kicks it to Prescott for a left corner three over Barnett. Short. McCray the rebound for Buffalo. UB with the ball left to right. Trying to pad a 10 point lead. Basket this time, and the Bulls would have their new widest margin of the game. Fills in between the circles, high post McCray. Yvonne takes it down the left side of the lane, spins center lane, scoops it up the left hand, and hits. Oh, great move. Too big and strong in there. If you let him get it, he's going to destroy you. Eight points and three boards for Javon McCray in the opening half. Buffalo up over St. Peter's now by a dozen. Left wing Prescott. Prescott left open for a three. He was wide open, and he cashes it. A breakdown that time defensively by oh, UB. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Nobody was on him, even close. So it's 31-22 Buffalo. 11 for Prescott. He's hit three trifectas. Barnett between the circles. St. Peter's now into his zone. Fills in between the circles. Right elbow forward. He'll shoot the 15-footer around. No good. McCray tips it in. 10 for Javon. Great effort on the offensive glass. The Bulls are really eating them up. That's got to be 14 offensive rebounds for the Bulls. Prescott left wing for another three. Leaves this one short. Rebound snagged by Filzen for Buffalo. A minute to go in the half. Buffalo up 11. Filzen's grabbed five rebounds in this first half. So Zach has not shot well from three, but he's helped out on the glass. Barnett between the circles. Dribbles to the right. Gives it up to Oldham on the right sideline. Now to Filzen, top of the key. Zach dribbling left, spins toward the middle. 
Covered up in the circle, finds Barnett, open for a left corner three. He hit it. Great execution in the half court sets by the Bulls in the last three minutes and a half. Generating a 14 point lead with 30 seconds to go. Got about a five second difference between the game clock and shot clock. French into the lane, hangs in the air, scoops one up off the backboard, no good, but a follow jam from Kyrie Ferguson with 21 seconds to go, makes it 36-24 Buffalo. And now the Bulls will use their use it or lose it timeout. 21 seconds to go before the half ends, and the Bulls are ahead by a dozen. Well, you look for Zach Filson to be set up for a shot uh, to finish the half with 25 seconds to go. And the, uh, the Bulls, of course, already and certainly made the uh, Bonnies a formidable opponent now. Two in a row for the Bulls at home. The next Saturday, the Bulls will play at Princeton. Princeton's always pretty good. Bulls breaking the pressure. Oldham into the front court right. Down to 10 seconds to go in the half. Oldham between the rings, dribbles to the right wing, skids to a stop. Top of the key, Watt. Now left sideline, Barnett, three to shoot. Dave launches a three, no good. Just before the halftime horn sounds, so the Bulls will take a 12-point lead into the locker room for their first game this season. Buffalo at the break with a 36-24 edge over the St. Peter's College Peacocks. Well, in the story of the first half, uh, Zach, is the strong offensive effort of the Bulls on the glass. They have, and we don't have the stat sheet yet, but I'd be willing to bet they have close to as many offensive rebounds as St. Peter's has total rebounds.